All right, pardon the double image here of me uh, talking about the video behind me of me talking about the video behind me. And there's two of me here. But there are two reasons I'm doing this. One, I want to illustrate the absurdity of how a lot of news media works. Like, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of talk shows, radio and TV, it, it, it doesn't matter. They talk about each other. They, you know, they, Hannity will talk about what was on uh, Fox, talking about what was on CNN, talking about what was on Hannity. You know, they, and so they'll play. Okay, so CNN was talking about this show, and then Fox was talking about CNN, talking about this show, and I'm going to talk about Fox talking about CNN, talking about this show. You know, like they do that. There's a lot of media people talking about what people in the media say. There's a, it's a lot of circle stuff going on. So. Uh, technically, I'm actually in the same form, like I'm following suit by having the picture of me behind me, you know, talking about the... Okay, so that's one thing. And then, of course, I finally got my NVIDIA graphics card working, which in the video behind me, which is linked, wasn't. Um, a few things. It, for, first of all, I want you to notice the the one dislike here. I, I, I got... Where is it? There. I'm just, did, 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 troll... I, but yeah, okay. I, I'm not going to like my own video to counter it. This guy had an interesting comment. Kushner's a globalist, and I agree with Ann Coulter on him. I don't think he'll get the job as UN ambassador. I rather think Haley was sending some hidden messages, probably unrelated to the job. Watching Kushner's facial expression changes recently makes me believe that things are happening behind his back. Um, all right. Uh, you know, that's interesting. We'll see. I, I just, I want to go on record here. I want to be really clear on this. I don't think Nikki Haley was retired. I don't think someone went and said, okay, we want to get rid of you, so retire, so it looks nice for everyone. I mean, it, nobody likes firing people. That's never fun. So a lot of times a company will say, listen, uh, we want you to go, but we don't want, we don't want a mess. You don't want a mess. So let's, we want you to leave, but let's try to not make messes, mutual messes. And so they'll coordinate their statements and they'll leave because nobody wants mutual messes. And it seems kind of like lying in the public, but maybe it kind of is good. It's just less unfortunate than it would be the other way. Maybe, maybe sometimes it's really dishonest and the bigger companies doing dirty to the person getting for tired that way. I don't think any of that's happening with Nikki though. I really think she's genuinely resigning. So I think what she's saying is genuine. Now she knows a lot of stuff. She's in the loop with a lot of stuff. She, like, so there's a lot she's not saying. That doesn't mean that she's lying. I mean, goodness, she was ambassador to the United Nations, arguably the ambassador to every nation in, in a sense, maybe, except Taiwan, because of course, Taiwan's not in the United Nations, which if you know my other stuff in media and my life and everything, I mean, even, you know, here, it's, it's the, introducing the Taiwan's part, I already got that on the camera, the Taiwan special Sure, which you can go buy at guys.com, by the way, G-U-I-Z-E. Please go support the channel, buy stuff at guys.com. But Nikki does know stuff that she's not going to tell us. That, that doesn't mean that she's lying. That's important to know. Th these leaders are supposed to know stuff that are supposed to kind of be secret that they're not supposed to tell us right away anyway. Trump's been getting a lot of progress. He keeps talking about it with North Korea because of stuff that he's not talking about. He says, there's a lot of things. There's a lot happening behind the scenes and it's not in the media. It's well protected from the media and it's great. It's, it's amazing. It's the best. Uh, great things, good things happening behind the scenes. Uh, the media doesn't see it. Uh, Trump's been talking about that with North Korea. So how do you like my Trump impersonation? Tell me. I got Nikki is genuinely resigning and she knows stuff. Okay. Second, I do believe Kushner's on the rise. I do believe that. I'm not going to say what I think about Kushner, good or bad. I do think things about Kushner, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to say he's on the rise. See, I, I, I have my start in podcasting. This video thing is kind of a new reaching out for me. But in my podcasts, and my article, Pacific Daily Times, in the editorials and the stuff that I write, I don't inject my own opinion. I talk about how I think history is going to unfold based on how history has unfolded in the past. It's foresight based on hindsight. 
you can you can see what's over the horizon in front of you if you learn to see what was over the horizon behind you. You know, the, the, the horizon in front of you is about just as far away as the horizon behind you. So if you can learn to look far in the distant past, it'll be easier for your eyes to focus and see what's coming in the far distant future. So I, I'm kind of the futurist, jessesteel.com. The slogan is today's news yesterday. That's what I do. So I'm not telling you what I want. See, a lot of people in media talk about what they want to have happen. When I predicted accurately Trump's election, a lot of people thought it was wishful thinking, like as if predicting the future means that's the future that you want. And that, that, that's not critical thinking. And that's not how I think. I don't predict the future how I want it to be. I predict the future how I think it will be because I study the past. That's something that I do in a lot of my different work. So if, if you're kind of new to watching me, I've got an existing thing that I've been on and doing and stuff. And that's what this is. I'm trying to explain to you my, how I see what's going on with the news and what I see happening. I, you know, governments, I, I, I know someone's going to say, no, we can't have that. All right. Okay. I get, we can't have that, but there's a point. There's a point where the children should want mom and dad to know things that the kids don't like as a child, you want mom and dad to know stuff that they don't tell you. Like you, you don't like it, you'll whine about it, but like you know that it's good and you feel safe and secure and loved and cared for and that there's competent leaders, you know, managing the house. Your mom and dad know what they're doing because they don't tell you everything. Did that in government, even government of the people, there's, there's some place, you know, may, maybe Matt Damon's writing his movies about how evil the CIA is. I don't, I don't want to get into that, but there is a place. There is a you see. Someone's going to say you're CIA, Jesse. I'm not CIA. If I was CIA, my ten years in Taiwan would have gone a lot better. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I'm not CIA. I follow Jesus. Jesus has his own people that he talks to through his Holy Spirit, and Zach Hing, I believe, is one of them. Um, Earl Hall is a guy that, that does podcast stuff. I've been seeing his channel. A lot of people that Jesus has been whispering to over the last 10 and 20 years are starting to pop out all over the place now. So you, you get these, these secret groups that work. It, it's a government or it's a fraternity or whatever. I don't, you know, you get these groups that work and coordinate. Jesus has his own group and it's not Sunday morning. It's not a Sunday morning thing. I am not a fan of Sunday morning because of the, the mess. A lot of, a lot of things people don't like about Christians is because of Sunday morning. And I've, I've written books about that. I can talk about that later. So I, I, I genuinely believe that, that there are, there are people that are coming out that Jesus has been guiding and they're talking more and more and more in the world. And we are stepping toward globalism at the same time, good and bad. There's a lot that's happening and I'm not going to tell you what I think about it. I, there's too much telling people what to think. The media tells us what to think. The media has people thinking when we predict the future, it's the future that we want. I, I, I don't agree with that. I just think it's a future that will be. Sunday morning tells Christians what to think. And I want to tell you what to think. I, Sunday morning should have been telling people what the Bible says, not what you should think about it. So what, when I do Bible, I just talk about what the Bible says. I don't try to tell people what to think about it. So I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm just telling you what I think is really going on. And I've been watching this stuff for years. I, I sat on a government voting committee in high school. Not that student council nonsense. Real government. In 15 years old, I was voting on a government committee for my own school curriculum. I've been watching administration all my life and I'm telling you what I think is going on. Nikki Haley is genuinely resigning. Kushner's on the rise and Nikki Haley knows it. And what's good and what's bad? That's, I'm not going to cheat and help you figure out. It's not a secret. I don't mind people knowing what I think, but I, I don't, I don't want to shortchange you. You've got to see through all this stuff, see what the media is and going, see all, all this, stuff, everything I've talked about. Watch this video again. Figure stuff out on your own.